Okay, so I wanted to show you um, a couple little extra things. Um, in my email that I'm about to send you after I finish this, um, I'm going to send you um, a link to a bunch of tutorials for uh, Visual Composer, which is how we built the site. Uh, but in terms of images and background images, which is uh, what your question was, I'm going to show you how to do, uh, do a few of those things. So... Uh, the first thing is this one here, this slideshow image. Um, I'll show you how to work uh, that one. So, I'm assuming you know how to log into your uh, WordPress dashboard. And from there, to change those images, you're going to go down on the left hand side to Slider Revolution. Right now there's only one. It's the one from the home page. So you click on it. And then all of your slides are located right here. And your slides are fairly basic in terms of how they're set up. So you just have to click on the thumbnail. Oh, it's already loaded. Um, and then if you want to change the image, it's right here under main background main background image that's the one that's linked to or clicked clicked on and then if you want to change it just go to media library and then you can select from what is available currently or you can upload something new um, if you're going to upload something new you're going to want it to be a relatively large file but not too too big so um, the the rule that I usually give people is 1920 pixels wide, 1920 pixels wide um, for a full screen image because that's, um, that's the pixel density for high definition display and there's really no reason to go higher than that uh, for the web. If you take a picture from your iPhone or uh, a tablet or something it's probably going to be bigger than that and so I guess let me show you how to make an edit to the size because if you upload something that's bigger than it should be or needs to be it's important to bring it down to the proper size I don't know if I have any pictures here Well, I'll just use one uh, that already exists. So when you're uploading to this media gallery, or it's called library, um, say you upload a photo and... Okay, look, this is the perfect example. This is huge. It is 4,000 pixels wide, and it's 2 megabytes, and it's just a picture of a dog. It doesn't need to be, doesn't need to be this big. So here's what you do to uh, reduce the size to make it optimized for web. So you scroll down to this section in on the right-hand side, and edit. Edit image. So it's right here in the scale image in terms of dimensions. So this first one is the width, and you're just going to do 1920. It'll auto adjust the other side, and then you hit scale. And so now your image is optimized for the internet. And then you can just use it from there. So, let's go back to Slider Revolution. So, same thing for each of the slides. Like, you just click on the thumbnail, and then when you want to swap the picture, you go here, and then select from what you have or upload something new and then edit it the way we were just talking about 
And then when you're all set, you just hit this green save slide button. And that'll automatically populate it into your home page. So other than that one, let's actually look at home page and background images that aren't part of the slider. Okay, so all the, what I usually do when I'm working on um, a page in Visual Composer is I'll open the page on the front end of the website as well as a tab with this, you know, back end builder view so that I can see what I'm changing as I'm changing it. Okay, so let's say, let's see, so this is the slideshow area that we just talked about and then you have Ann Arbor's newest coffee coffee shop that's a text area and so that is right here and if you want to change it just hover over it hit the green pencil button and then you can change it from there same thing with a single image this is your logo that relates to this element but what you had mentioned specifically was background images. So one of those would be probably this guy that I'm scrolling through. So where that lives is in this section right here. And the reason you can tell that a section has a background image is with these little tiny little circle things. So let's say, for example, you wanted to change this background image that is kind of scrolling uh, in the background. If you want to change that one, that is attached to a row. So anytime a background image is full screen, um, that's going to be in the row settings. So anything with this little handle, that is a row. So whenever there's a, a background on a row, the way you edit that is this pencil. Edit this row. So if I click on that guy, this is going to bring up my row settings. And you can probably leave all those the same. What you want to change is under this tab, Design Options, and then there's a section here for the background photo and you can just and you can leave all these other settings the same but you can just hit this plus button and it's going to take you to the same place this media library and you can select a different image for the background of that row um, i'm not going to do it because i don't know exactly what you want but like as soon as you do that then you just it, it will update here and then you just hit save changes and then the update button to update the page so that should take care of dealing with um, how to change your uh, slideshow images as well as your background row images and i'm hoping that's helpful um, like I said, I'm also going to send you a link to a bunch of tutorials for this Visual Composer. Like this is this is all Visual Composer, so I'm going to send you a link to uh, all those tutorials as well. Hope that helps.